Hey there, you looking kind of cute. Please consider subscribing and check out our Patreon for more. Enjoy the video. That evening, as the clock struck eight, something unusual happened. I, Chris, a middle-aged man with a routine life, found myself alone at home. My wife, Emily, was out for her weekly book club meeting, leaving me in charge of our quiet house. I wandered around, trying to find something to occupy my time. That's when my eyes caught the sight of Emily's closet door, slightly ajar. Curiosity got the better of me, and I edged towards the closet. The array of colors and textures inside was overwhelming. I reached out, my fingers brushing against a soft, pastel-colored blouse. It was light pink, with delicate buttons and a smooth, silky texture. Next to it hung a knee-length floral skirt, its fabric adorned with tiny blossoms in shades of blue and yellow. Without much thought, I decided to try them on. Slipping into the blouse, I noticed how the fabric felt against my skin, softer and lighter than any of my shirts. The skirt came next, zipping up easily at the side. It swished around my knees, a sensation entirely new to me. I looked at myself in the mirror, feeling a mix of awkwardness and curiosity. The clothes didn't fit perfectly, but they weren't uncomfortable either. Next, I spotted a pair of Emily's heels, black with a modest heel. Balancing myself, I slipped them on. Walking was a challenge. My steps were clumsy and unsure. But as I paced back and forth, I started getting the hang of it, each step growing more confident. I spent the next hour trying on various outfits, I discovered a soft cream cardigan that felt cozy and a pair of leggings that were surprisingly comfortable. Each piece of clothing introduced me to a new texture, a new way the fabric moved with my body. But as time passed, I grew more aware of the reality of what I was doing. My mind buzzed with questions and doubts. What if Emily walked in? What would she think? Was it odd for me to find comfort in her clothes? Mixed feelings swirled within me, Excitement, confusion, and a hint of fear. I was still in the skirt and blouse when I heard the front door open. Panic set in. I rushed to change back into my own clothes, but didn't manage to put everything away in time. Emily called out, and I knew I had to face her. Chris, you're still awake? She said, walking into the bedroom. Her eyes landed on the clothes scattered on the bed. What's this? I took a deep breath, my heart racing. Emily... I need to tell you something, I began, my voice shaky. I explained how I ended up trying on her clothes, how it started as a curious impulse but turned into something more. I talked about the comfort and the strange sense of joy I felt, expecting her to react with shock or disapproval. But Emily just stood there, listening intently. When I finished, she didn't look upset. Instead, there was a thoughtful expression on her face. Chris, I'm glad you told me she said gently. It's okay to explore and find what makes you comfortable. I'm here for you. Her words lifted a weight off my shoulders. The fear of her reaction had been looming over me, but now it was replaced by a sense of relief. The next day, after breakfast, Emily and I sat down in our living room. The sun was shining through the window, making the room bright and warm. Emily looked at me with kind eyes and said, Chris, do you want to learn more about makeup and clothes? I nodded, feeling a mix of nervousness and excitement. Emily smiled and went to get her makeup bag. It was a small, colorful bag filled with all sorts of things I had never used before. She sat down next to me and started explaining each item. First, this is foundation, Emily said, showing me a small bottle. It helps to make your skin look smooth. She put a little on her hand and then gently applied it to my face. It felt light and cool. Next, she showed me a mascara wand. This is for your eyelashes. It makes them look longer and fuller. Carefully, she brushed the mascara onto my eyelashes. It tickled a little, and I tried not to blink. Then came the lipstick. Emily picked a soft pink color similar to the blouse I had tried on. She showed me how to apply it, moving it carefully over my lips. Looking in the mirror, I saw my face transform. The makeup was subtle, but it made a big difference. After the makeup, Emily brought out a box from her closet. These are different types of undergarments, she explained. She showed me bras, explaining how they provide support. Then she showed me shapewear, a type of clothing that helps to make the body look smoother under clothes. 
each piece felt different. The bra was snug but not uncomfortable, and the shapewear was tight but made my clothes fit differently in a good way. Emily was patient, explaining how everything worked and helping me try them on. We spent the whole morning talking about clothes and makeup. I asked lots of questions, and Emily answered all of them. She even showed me how to walk in heels without wobbling too much. It was fun, like a game we were playing together. In the afternoon, Emily suggested we go shopping. You should have your own clothes, not just mine, she said. The idea made me feel excited, but also a little scared. Going out and buying women's clothes for myself was a big step. But Emily held my hand and said, It's okay, we'll do this together. At the store, Emily helped me pick out clothes. We found skirts, blouses, and a couple of dresses. Each one was different. Some had flowers on them, others were plain colors like blue or green. We also picked out some leggings and a cozy sweater. Trying on the clothes in the store felt strange. I was in a small room surrounded by mirrors. Each outfit looked different on me, some better than others. Emily waited outside, giving me thumbs up or shaking her head when I showed her each outfit. The last thing we bought was a pair of shoes. They were flat, not like the heels I tried before. They were comfortable and easy to walk in. When we got home, I had a whole new set of clothes and makeup. Emily helped me put everything away in our closet, making space for my new things. That night, we cooked dinner together. I wore one of my new outfits, a blue skirt and a white blouse. It felt good to wear clothes that I had chosen for myself. As we ate, Emily and I talked about our day. It was nice to share this new part of my life with her. We laughed and joked, just like always. It felt like a normal evening, but at the same time, everything was different. After dinner, we cleaned up and then watched a movie. I felt happy and a little tired from the big day we had. It was nice to have Emily by my side, supporting me through this new adventure. A few days later, Emily had an idea. How about we go shopping together for your own clothes? She suggested. It'll be fun to pick out things just for you. I felt a mix of excitement and nervousness. Shopping for my own clothes was a big step. But Emily's smile made me feel braver. Okay, let's do it, I agreed. We went to a store in town. It was bigger than the one we visited before with lots of clothes in different styles and colors. Emily held my hand as we walked in, making me feel safe. First, we looked at dresses. There were so many. Some were short, others long. Some had bright colors while others were plain. Emily helped me pick a few to try on. I chose a dress with red and white stripes and another that was all blue. In the dressing room, I tried them on, turning around to see how they looked from all sides. The striped dress was my favorite. It fit just right and made me feel happy. Next, we looked at skirts and blouses. Emily found a skirt that was green with little white flowers. This will look great on you, she said. She was right. When I tried it on, it felt light and comfortable. We also found some blouses in different colors, pink, yellow, and blue. Each one felt soft and nice to wear. Then we went to the lingerie section. Emily explained about different types of bras and panties. It's important to find ones that fit well and feel comfortable, she said. We chose some that were simple and not too fancy. They felt different from my usual underwear, but in a good way. After that, we looked at shoes. I found a pair of sandals that were easy to walk in and a pair of boots for colder days. They were both comfortable and looked nice with the clothes we picked. We spent a long time in the store looking at all sorts of clothes. Emily was patient, helping me choose things and giving advice. It was fun to try on different outfits and see how they looked. When we were done, we had a big pile of clothes to take home. Dresses, skirts, blouses, lingerie, and shoes. I felt excited to wear them all. On the way home, Emily said, You know, Chris, I think it's great you're finding your own style. Her words made me feel good. It was nice to know she supported me. The next day, I wore one of my new dresses at home. It was the blue one, and it felt nice to wear something I had chosen myself. Emily and I spent the day doing things around the house. I helped with cooking and cleaning, wearing my dress the whole time. It was different from before, but I liked it. In the evening, we decided to watch a movie. I changed into a cozy sweater and leggings, another outfit I had picked out. We sat on the couch together, eating popcorn and enjoying the movie. 
It felt like a regular night, but also special because of my new clothes. As the days went by, I wore my new clothes more and more. Each day, I tried a different outfit, mixing and matching the things we bought. Emily always gave me a smile and a thumbs up when she saw me. I also started doing more things around the house, cooking dinner, doing laundry, and tidying up. It felt good to help out and take care of our home. As days turned into more days, Emily and I found new ways to do things together. It was like a game where we sometimes swapped the things we usually did. I started trying more things around the house that Emily usually did, like cooking and organizing our home. It was fun learning new recipes and finding better ways to arrange our stuff. One day, Emily suggested we go out with me wearing one of my new dresses. The idea made my stomach feel funny, like when you're both nervous and excited. Are you sure? I asked her. She nodded, her smile big and warm. I think it'll be great, she said. So we planned a day out. I chose to wear the red and white striped dress because it was my favorite. Emily helped me pick out a matching purse and a pair of comfortable sandals. She also wore something different, jeans and a shirt, which she usually didn't wear. We looked at each other and laughed. We're like opposites today, I said. We went to a park first. It was a sunny day and there were lots of people around. At first, I felt a bit scared, wondering what people would think. But as we walked, holding hands, I started to feel better. We even got ice cream and I forgot about being nervous. After the park, we went to a small cafe. The lady at the counter smiled at us and said, what a lovely couple. That made me feel really good. We had snacks and talked about all sorts of things, like what movie we should watch next and which park we should visit. When we got home, Emily and I talked about our day. Did you have fun? She asked. I nodded, smiling. Yes, it was a really good day. As more days passed, we went out more often. Sometimes to the park, other times to the store, or just for a walk. I wore my dresses, skirts, and sometimes the cozy sweater when it was chilly. People were mostly nice, and I started feeling more confident. Emily and I also started doing things differently at home. I cooked more often and tried making new dishes. Emily helped with things I used to do, like fixing stuff around the house. We worked like a team helping each other. One evening, we decided to have a small party with our friends. I was a bit nervous about it, but Emily said, It'll be fine. Our friends are nice. She was right. Our friends came over and we all had a great time. I wore one of my new dresses, a blue one with a pretty belt. Our friends said I looked nice, which made me happy. During the party, we played games, ate snacks, and talked a lot. It felt good to be around friends and be myself. They treated me just the same as always, which was really nice. After the party, Emily and I sat on the couch, tired but happy. That was a fun night. I said. Emily agreed, and we talked about our favorite parts of the evening. Every day felt a bit like an adventure. Sometimes it was a small thing, like trying a new recipe or wearing a new outfit. Other times it was big, like going to a party or meeting new people. After many days of doing things differently, Emily and I decided to do something really special. We thought it would be fun to have a celebration, like a big party where we could dress up and invite our friends and family. Emily had a wonderful idea. Let's have a vow renewal ceremony, she suggested. It's like getting married again, but this time we'll be celebrating the new U.S. I loved the idea. We started planning right away. We decided to have the ceremony in our backyard, which was big and had lots of flowers. It would be a small ceremony, just our closest friends and family. For the ceremony, Emily said I should wear a beautiful gown. At first, I was nervous. A gown sounded very fancy, but Emily said, it's a special day and you should wear something special. So we went shopping together to find the perfect gown. We went to a big store that had lots of gowns. They were all so pretty with different colors and designs. I tried on many gowns, each one making me feel like I was in a fairy tale. Then I found the one, a long white gown with little sparkles that looked like tiny stars. It was beautiful. When I tried it on, I felt like a princess. Emily's eyes got all sparkly when she saw me in it. You look amazing, she said. Emily chose a suit for herself. It was dark blue and fit her really well. She looked really cool and handsome in it. 
We both stood in front of the mirror, looking at our reflections. We were different from before, but we were happy. As the day of the ceremony came closer, we got more and more excited. We sent out invitations, decorated our backyard, and planned the whole day. Emily was good at organizing things, and I helped with the decorations and the food. Finally, the day arrived. It was a sunny and warm day, perfect for our ceremony. Our backyard looked like a magical place, with flowers, lights, and colorful decorations. Our friends and family came, all dressed up and smiling. They hugged us and said how happy they were for us. It felt really good to have everyone there supporting us. The ceremony was beautiful. We stood in front of all our guests, holding hands. We said new vows, promising to always be there for each other and to keep loving each other. When we said, I do, everyone clapped and cheered. It was a very happy moment. After the ceremony, we had a big party. There was music, dancing, and lots of yummy food. I danced with Emily, feeling light and joyful. Our friends and family joined us, and the backyard was filled with laughter and music. As the party went on, I looked around at all the happy faces. I felt really grateful for everything. For Emily, for our friends and family, and for the new life we had made together. It was like we had started a new chapter in our story, one where we could be ourselves and be happy. That night, after everyone had gone home and the backyard was quiet again, Emily and I sat together, looking at the stars. We talked about the day and how wonderful it was. We were both a little tired, but we were also really happy. Today was perfect, I said to Emily. She nodded, smiling. It was, she agreed. As we sat there, I thought about all the changes that had happened. Wearing dresses and makeup, cooking and taking care of the house, going out and being myself. It had all been new and a little scary at first, but now it felt right. I was happy and I had Emily with me. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out Patreon for a lot more content and early access to YouTube videos.